Maya. Today we're going to talk about how to build a custom sentiment analysis model with Google Cloud AutoML Natural Language. If you've played with the Natural Language API before, you might have seen that it can tell you the sentiment of a block of text, like whether a tweet is mostly positive or mostly negative. But what about for text with domain-specific language? For example, let's say we're trying to classify the sentiment of a tweet like, Delta, I was waiting on the tarmac for two hours. That's a made-up tweet, by the way. Sorry, Delta. An out-of-the-box sentiment model would tell us this tweet is neutral. It doesn't realize that being stuck on the runway is a bad thing. For this, we'll use AutoML Natural Language to train a custom sentiment model. To do that, we'll need a labeled data set. Today, we'll build a model that identifies the sentiment of tweets about airlines using a data set built by Crowdflower. To prepare our data set, all we have to do is save the tweet with their labels in a CSV. The leftmost column indicates what we should use a given example for, like testing, training, or validation. The label on the right are the tweet sentiment scores, which in our data set have been labeled by a human being. 0 is very negative, 1 is intermediate, and 2 is very positive. Within the AutoML Natural Language tool, we'll choose to launch an AutoML sentiment app. Next, we'll import our data by clicking Add Data Set. Here we want to choose Sentiment Analysis. We can upload the data by importing it as a CSV directly or as a zip file, but I've already uploaded my CSV to a Google Cloud storage bucket, so I'm just going to import it that way. Down here by Sentiment Scale, we'll tell AutoML the range of sentiment scores to expect in the data set. Since our scores go from 0, the most negative, to 2, the most positive, we'll select 2 as the maximum sentiment score. Now the data is importing. This could take a few minutes to finish. Once data is imported, we'll see it here in the Text Items tab. We can click into an example and make sure it has the right sentiment score, or change it if it doesn't. Notice we also have the counts of how many examples we have for each label on the left. We'll need at least 100 examples per label to start training. We can begin training a model by navigating over to the Train tab and clicking Start Training. Training a model can take up to three hours, so hold tight. You'll get an email when it's done. When training's finished, we'll be able to see our model here in the Train tab. We can see how well it did by clicking See Full Evaluation. Here in the Evaluate panel, we can click in to see the performance of our model. The metrics we care about are precision and recall. Up top, we can see both. But if we click into a single sentiment label, we can see it broken down for each category. Precision tells us, of the tweets that our model did label 0, how many really were 0. Recall, on the other hand, tells us, of all the entire tweets in the data set, what percent of those that should have been labeled 0 did our model actually end up labeling 0. Another useful tool is the confusion matrix. It tells us how the real labels of the data set compare to the labels that our model predicted. For example, 91.3% of the time, the model accurately predicted that tweets with the label 0 should have had label 0. But 26.7% of the time, it also thought that tweets with label 1, those that are just neutral, should be labeled 0. If we click on one of these boxes, we see examples of what the model correctly and incorrectly labeled. In the Predict tab, we can start actually using our model hosted by Google. We just have to think of some positive and negative airline tweets to type into this box. And there we go. AutoML Natural Language's custom sentiment analysis feature knows that losing your luggage is not fun. That's all for now. Have fun modeling.